exponent properties, these are rational exponent properties. Rational means ratio. Whenever you have exponents, okay, where you have the same base but different powers, and you're dividing, what you do is you simply keep the base, but you subtract the powers. This is the shortcut. So for this scenario, you would subtract the powers. And this other property is whenever you have a negative exponent, negative exponents basically mean this. You make it a positive exponent and switch it to the bottom. Okay, so if it, this is a to the negative n, this would be one over a to the n. Now, if you had this, if you had one over a to the negative n, well, here, didn't, isn't this over one? Didn't it go to the bottom? Well, what's this one gonna do? This one is gonna move to the top. So if you have this with the negative n on the bottom power, it's gonna jump to the top and become a positive n power. So if it's on the top, it moves to the bottom, becomes positive. If it's on the bottom, it moves to the top. So let's look at number one here. The simple rule is basically saying to subtract these two numbers. So this is going to be x to the 4 minus 5, which would be x to the negative first. Now, but what do we say about negative powers? You drop it to the bottom. So x to the negative first is actually 1 over x to the first. And do I need my first power? Not really. Not really. So that is simply my answer, but you really don't need your first power. Now, if you get struggle, if you struggle remembering that you're supposed to subtract these, some people forget, mix it up, here's your way of showing it. x to the fourth, this is the long way, is this. <coughs> x to the fifth is this. Now, what you hopefully remember back when we were talking about um, permutation combinations, don't we cancel some things here? Don't all these x's cancel? Doesn't that leave you with one x on the bottom? So wouldn't this be one over x? Wouldn't this red answer be what we got here? So if you want to do it the long way, you write it all out and cancel, 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 and you will come up with the answer. But I would recommend subtracting the powers and being done with it and then knowing if it's negative, it goes to the bottom. Okay. Number two. This is just the same concept, but it has multiple layers or steps. For instance, first, let's focus in on this. Can you reduce 6 over negative 20? Yeah. yeah, doesn't 2 go into both those? So wouldn't that be negative 3 over 10? Now, does it matter if the negative is on top or bottom? Yes. No. Next. Look at these x's. We're going to go x to the, do we add, subtract, multiply the powers? No. We subtract them according to the property we're just doing. And the last piece, isn't that a 1 right there? Yes. So this is going to be y to the 1 minus 7. Again, I'm showing all my steps. <coughs> so my answer becomes negative 3 over 10. This becomes x to the 6 minus 4 is 2. This becomes y to the 1 minus 7 is negative 6. Now, we're not allowed negative powers. So here's how my final answer looks. I put the negative 3, the 10 on the bottom. Now, this x squared, is this an x squared on the bottom or top of a fraction? Wasn't well, this x squared over 1? So wouldn't the x squared be on top with the 3? Now, look at this, negative 6 power. Won't negative powers drop to the bottom? According to this property, negative powers drop to the bottom. So won't this y to the 6 be on the bottom with the 10? Mm -hmm. That's my answer. The really long line sticking out. OK, let's do it again. Look at this one. Let's focus in on the first piece. 10, negative 10 divided by negative 15. If you reduce that, 5 goes into both. They're both negatives. That looks like it's going to be 2 thirds. They're both negative, so it becomes positive. Okay, next, focus on the x's. 
x to the third minus 1. Now we look at the y's. y to the 5 minus 5. And the last piece, z. Has nothing to combine with, so isn't that just z? Could you put first if you want? If you want to put first, you can. Otherwise, it's just z. It's just chilling. So what I got here is 2 thirds. 3 minus 1 is 2. One, 5 minus 5 is 0. What do you do with 0? Isn't that 1? Didn't that disappear? And z. OK. Do any of, are any of these negative powers? Do any of these have to go down here with the 3? None of them are negative powers, so none of them are going to go down with the z. So you could either leave it like kind of like this, but I tend to write it like this. I would probably put the x squared and z on top of the 2 and the 3 on the bottom. Or you could simply write it as 2 thirds x squared z, as long as the x squared and z are right in the middle with the fraction bar. Either of these work.